brought to you by Spartan Hands. Use my promo code to get 10% off your order. Link and promo code in the description below. My blood test results are in. The latest, huh? I'll show you guys. Hope you saw that. <laughs> now, <laughs> natatawa ako sa sa mother ko eh, kanina. Ah, uh, I mean, yeah, kanina. She constantly argues that I am too thin. <laughs> I just had myself weighed in sa clinic kung saan ang galing ang blood test ko. Sa kami na blood test. Uh, I now weigh in at 154 pounds, 70 kilos actually. So, around 154 pounds yun. And, ang sabi ko, sabi ko sa mother ko, wala sa, wala sa outer appearance yan. Hindi mo lang, hindi kasi, hindi kasi nag, ano eh, uh, hindi kasi nag, nag weight loss plan. Kasi my, uh, my mother is into that old school thinking that, uh, if you're, if you're eating and you don't feel anything uh, if you don't feel anything wrong with yourself then you're not sick well nakita niya mo blood test results ko they're all within normal limits so it's not in the outer appearance okay one benefit of uh, being a keto and IR practitioner is that you get to well is that you get to think clearly right and you get to li you get to not listen to anybody, especially your relatives, because you know in your uh, you know in you that you're healthy. Okay, you don't feel sick all the time. You don't uh, you got you got you got all the energy you need, and uh, you're productive during the day. Okay, you're productive. That means well, you are healthy, and the blood test result okay the blood test results i showed you confirms that that's the ultimate proof okay so i am very happy and i'm very confident for next week's appointment with the family doctor okay I'm very confident <clears throat> so yeah but i may have to um watch my creatinine because it's 1.11 the maximum normal limit is 1.3 so too big lang yun okay all you need all you need for that is uh all you need for that to go down is drink a lot of water especially during the eating especially during my eating window yeah during the eating window actually kasi well i do a water fast naman eh every from 5 p.m. to 9 a.m. the next day Water fast. Wet fast ang ginagawa ko. Water lang. Water with uh, Himalayan pink salt or from time to time nag, uh, nag-hot tea. Nag Nag-chacha ako. Either turmeric or green tea. Yep. I'm very happy right now. <laughs> very happy right now with my blood test results. I'm here at my doctor's office. I'm now also on high five, so it's a really, uh, it's a really sociable app. Now, I am now at my doctor's office because I'm looking for my mother. I just had my blood test, so I need to, I need to see. I need to see. Check up now. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry, guys. It's just a routine check up. Now, may nakilala ko from high five. Uh, who's just staying at home dahil, uh, she was forced to resign from work dahil nagkasakit ang father niya inilagaan niya until her father passed away she lives in the lockdown area actually kaya hindi rin siya makaalis eh. so I think uh, I, I could feel I could feel it in my bones that uh, she's looking for uh, uh, a new source of income Nagiti umalis sa bahay. 
So I, so I suggested, why don't you start her own personal brand? And then alaman ko, habang kwento siya, that she's into crocheting. Okay, crocheting. The old, uh, the old way to make a sweater. <laughs> and I, and I said to her, that's a, that's a good idea for a YouTube channel or, a, or an Instagram profile. Now she sort of promised me that once she completes it, she'll, she'll start that. What am I driving at here? Now, as you all know, I'm also a branding advisor. Okay. People pay me. To, people pay me for my take on how they should promote their brand, okay, especially among home entrepreneurs, marketers, uh, cosplayers, even licensed professionals like doctors and lawyers. The first thing you should remember if you want to start a personal brand is well, start with what you love. Okay? If you do something, if you do something that you love, well, that's that's a good foundation for your personal brand. Okay? Do something that you love, then start your own personal brand. Okay? If you're uh, if you're uh, if you start to be good at it, okay? Because well, bottom line, passion. Is priceless. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you're passionate about something, no money on earth can put a can put a value on that. Okay. So sobrang sobrang taas ng value. Okay. They can only charge you enough <laughs> for for your advice, for your expertise. Okay. So yeah, that's the bottom line of. Uh, this, uh, of this entry. Passion is priceless. It's the um, first. Yeah. It's almost 24 hours since President Duterte declared a um, <clears throat> uh, state of national health, state of national health emergency here in uh, the Philippines and as of 3 p.m. yesterday the whole of Luzon is now on lockdown and I just received word from uh, from McDonald's that delivery will only be available until 5 p.m. okay we were able to deliver our breakfast have our, de our breakfast delivered kasi wala kami makakain ngayon we're supposed to go to uh, to the grocery store to uh, to make to make a run, okay? But uh, we're not we're not on pan we're not on panic buying mode like the rest. Um, what am I driving at? Well, delivery is up to five p.m. only, and. Uh, people are ad people are advised to stay at home and well for me uh, keto and intermittent fasting are paying off because well there's a national health crisis right now so I can go on without food for at least 16 hours so yeah um, we were we ordered our food we ordered our breakfast, but I'm the one who's going to be eating late. Because, well, I'm I'm following intermittent fasting still. For people who have who don't follow intermittent fasting, keto or both, they're going to have a hard time in this uh, in this time of crisis. Okay, that's what that's the way I see it. Why? Well. They have to over rely on on processed foods. Kaya nang papanik buying eh. Okay. They are over dependent on processed foods, and well, the average Filipino these days ha eat 
six times a day. That's the average. Okay, I, I, I used to I used to eat six times a day, but since taking Those notifications, they never stop, especially now. So, yun nga. Um, they, they're over-dependent on processed foods. And um, they, they, sometimes put in a, they sometimes put in a midnight snack okay, just to de-stress. You don't have to. Okay. That's what... Uh, that's what keto and intermittent fasting is teaching me right now. Uh, in this time, in this time of uh, in this time of crisis, you don't have to eat that much. And well, sleep is more important actually to to de-stress yourself. It's a more it's a more favorable de-stressor than having a midnight snack. Okay. So, yeah, I need to, um, yeah, after, probably after, after our grocery run, I'm going to work on the weekly digest okay, for last week's entries. So, that will be my, itiner my itinerary for the day. And if I am, um, if I'm, well, uh, if I'm feeling it, I might do another motivational video like the one I, uh, like the one that I uploaded yesterday. Okay. Hope you guys like that one, the motivational video that is. I wasn't able to upload uh, entries to the diaries on MySpace. It's slow as hell, right? <clears throat> Every time I try to upload uh, my entry for my space, guess what? It doesn't. Um, it doesn't finish. It doesn't finish the processing, right? If you're now, if you're familiar with what I'm saying, over at over at YouTube, when you say finish processing, you can now. Uh, you can now rest easy. The video is now on YouTube. Now on MySpace, it's probably like that. But <clears throat> in my case, the processing didn't stop for two days. <laughs> All right. So when I refreshed it, when I refreshed the page, it wasn't uploaded. Okay. <clears throat> Looks like I hyped my space too early. <laughs> I hyped it too soon. Okay, my bad. <clears throat> Although my space is well, yeah. Let's say it's uh, it's creator. Let's say it's creator friendly. But if they're going to put you through that kind of an upload process. It's gonna be a waste of time. Right? It wasted my time, so I know what I'm saying. So what I did was um, upload it to a new video platform called DTube. Right now, it's blockchain based, so a la well, it's got a currency, and it it it's got it's got its own virtual currency called. Uh, DTC, DTube coin. It's under the Steemit. It, it's under. It's a form of. It's a form of. Uh, what you call this? It's a. Um, it's DTube's version of Steemit, the uh, the online currency, the virtual currency. It works a lot like Bitcoin, but um, if it's blockchain, but the trend right now. Okay, there's a there's a uh, a growing trend right now for websites to be blockchain based. Actually, Facebook is now riding on this trend. They have their own. They have their own coin, much like much, a lot like Bitcoin. DTube has its own also. So, if it's blockchain based, it's well. 
there's not much censorship going on all right so creators have have, have more freedom to um, to post whatever content they post whatever kind of video they want even the so-called NSFW videos NSFW means not safe for work all right even those kinds of videos but you can also um, you can also upload videos through a YouTube link right so I've also uploaded entries to the phone tab diary I I've also I've uploaded already uh, two episodes of advocacy Friday there okay. yeah it's working well it's working well hoping uh, I pray that I could drive traffic from there to YouTube so it's an opportunity right and I only saw the value of DTube when I when I couldn't um, uh, when my MySpace venture, my MySpace return didn't work out the way I wanted. Yep, another lesson learned. I I hyped MySpace too early, so this is the consequence. When people are arrogant, they're just all this. But there are some arrogant people that don't just have this. They got something, well, they got something to show. The phrase, all talk, no shock, sometimes true. But there are times that when people boast of something, they got the evidence to boast about. Therefore, Arrogance is like a crime. There must be evidence. You guys remember that, all right? I was just done um, practicing this Yu-Gi-Oh deck of mine. I'm preparing for the new the new master rule, which will take effect in April. So this is what we this is what I do to cope with uh, COVID-19. The COVID-19 outbreak. So yeah, let's put it back. Okay. Okay. And we're done. Actually, Yu-Gi-Oh somehow makes me um, think of content ideas, or think of something that will carry over to another content idea. That's why I'm doing this. Here's an example. An upcoming blog post of mine. See? Content from come from anywhere actually. We experienced a um what you call this? Personally, right? Personally, I had a heated argument with one of the barangay officials here in our barangay. Here in uh here in my barangay. <clears throat> Sinasabi ko sa kanila na bigyan nila ng konting consideration ang mother at sister ko. Right? My mother is 71 years old and my sister is autistic. Okay? Senior na may PWD pa. Okay? We were trying to heal a tricycle pero ang ginawa pala ng ng magaling namin barangay chairman ipagbawal lahat ng pagpasada ng mga tricycle. And I said, what the fuck? What the fuck? Okay. <clears throat> the tricycle is an integral part of transportation within a, um, within a specific community in the Philippines. Okay. They can get through, they can get through small streets with ease. Okay. They can even get into places no... No private car, no private car can. I understand. It, we are under a lockdown because of COVID-19. But, taking away the most basic form of public transportation is overkill. I do not give a fuck kung national level or ano eh. Pero, sa mga ibang barangay, allowed ang tricycle. Allow the tricycle. Now, 
Meron pero ano eh, uh, meron namang nagmagandang loob na tricycle driver. He risked his uh, he risked his livelihood to uh, to help us get home. Okay. Meron din mga naghihintay doon eh, sa supposed to be waiting area ng libreng sakay. Right? That libreng sakay actually passed us by. Hindi kami pinick up. Okay? Hindi kami pinick up. Kung wala akong grocery, I might have patched those guys' lights out. Hmm. Patutulugin ko yung mga yan sa kalye. For, um, what you call this? For blatantly misinterpreting the lockdown. For me. Okay? For me, um, disallowing the tricycle Okay, disallowing the tricycle to roam a particular barangay streets okay, does not help in the lockdown. It doesn't help. Kukunin mo na yung abilidad ng tricycle na makapanlibot sa barangay nyo. Kasi nandun lang yun eh. Okay? <clears throat> There are certain restrictions. A, a, a tricycle has certain restrictions. Okay? Hindi sila pwedeng bumiyahe sa labas ng kanilang napiling barangay unless may permit sila. Now, this should also apply during a lockdown. Lalong-lalo na kung health worker ang gustong mag-arkila ng tricycle. So, the officials of Barangay Pasitawan, okay, I'm calling you out. The officials of Barangay Pasitawan are saying that even that even health workers should avail of their libreng sakay? Eh, wala nga eh. Wala nga eh. Dinadaanan lang, dinadaanan lang yung pick-up point eh. Samantalang marami kami pasahero dun. Marami kami dun. It's not just me and my family. Marami pa mga tao dun na naghihintay. Now, thanks to that good Samaritan tricycle driver, we were able to get home. Ngayon, binilin din namin dun sa sa Good Samaritan na yun, na to pick the other people up, kunin ni, ano, ipasada, ipasada na niya mga yun. Help them get home. Okay? Now, with that in mind, okay, with that in mind, here's my take on what may happen when the lockdown, uh, when the lockdown is finally lifted. We might become the next United States. We'll be in a what you call this in a recession okay if you haven't caught wind of the news sa youtube the stock the u.s stock market has opened uh has opened negative three times three three successive days already nagbuo sila na lugi the market went down a, a significant number of points okay now if you're a uh, if you're a If you're a, uh, if you're in the US, you would you would check this out as an opportunity kasi mabababa ng no stocks. Okay? Now, the same thing is now happening here in the Philippines. Our own stock market opened low. That's a sign of a recession. A recession that might happen. Waksana. Okay? God forbid. A recession might happen once the lockdown has been lifted. Now, well, I don't care if the lockdown uh, gets lifted in, well, as they say, 30 days. It might get extended to 45 days. Much worse if it gets extended. Okay? Much worse if it gets extended. Because we will now be dealing with two, the country will now be dealing with two problems. A recession and a medical crisis. No matter how good President Duterte is, we may not recover from it if those two happen at the same time. Okay? Now, a total transportation lockdown, okay, a total transportation ban won't, will not help. Okay? Here you have COVID-19. Okay. Here you have the trans the uh, the total transportation ban. Not getting home, and in between them, 
stress which you, which is caused by the total transportation ban okay kung pati tricycle ibaban ninyo which well limited lang yung coverage nila it all it can, they can only serve one barangay kung limit na limited ang coverage don't expect things to get better once the lockdown is over do not expect it do not give us that bullshit okay fish as a barangay pasita one i am calling you out day six of the quarantine here's my take on uh, some policies of the national government number one um drug stores groceries and banks are being allowed to open number two mass transportation is being limited okay although in some localities they're totally banning mass transport okay i see a tug of war between these two provisions actually if it if it isn't obvious already if it isn't obvious already to those dumb to those dumb ass barangay officials here okay for example if you own let's say a drugstore okay and your locality has banned mass transport kahit tricycle wala who's going to your drugstore to buy uh, to buy their maintenance medicines Yeah. How in the hell are you going to make a profit? Yeah. How in the hell are you going to make a profit if you own that drugstore? Same thing with same thing with the uh, if you own a grocery or even a bank. Okay? Sino ang sinong kliyente mo ang pupunta sa Kung first and foremost hindi sila makarating dahil walang walang public transport. Not even the most basic one, the tricycle. Wala. Now, I've done a uh, a diaries entry the previously uh, that opened to this entry. Okay, here's the way. Here's how I see it. If these two continue to be implemented at the same time, there is a 50-50 chance. Okay, conservative. This is my opinion. There's a 50-50 chance na kapag natapos na ang lockdown na to after 30 days this country will enter a recession. Businesses are down even the ones even the ones that are allowed to remain open. Most especially the ones that were allowed that were allowed to remain open. Okay? Babagsak yung mga yan. Right now Food outlets have um, have taken uh, have taken measures to uh, to prevent the spread by deliberately closing and disinfecting. Okay, several food establishments in the outskirts of Pasita have already closed. Okay, uh, I think the only ones that are open right now is McDonald's. I was able to have mine delivered, have my have my supper delivered right now. Oh, not right now. A few minutes ago, and I think some branches of Chow King. Okay, but you have to make your order through their website, online delivery. Okay. Well, yun. If these two continue to be implemented at the same time, there's a fifty percent chance that the Philippines will enter a recession right after the lockdown is over so well i say well i don't see the logic in um in implementing these two provisions at the same time okay you've already you did allow some businesses to open as long as they uh they enforce social distancing and whatever provisions. Okay, at saka basic necessities kasi. 
like yeah, uh, drug store, uh, a bank. Of course, you have to you have to go to the nearest ATM to get your money, and of course a grocery. I say, dilman. I say, unethical nga naman ang ano eh, unethical nga naman ang panic buying, right? So they they allowed those those three kinds of establishments to remain open during the lockdown. Yun nga, pero suspended ang oh, suspended ang mass transportation okay in all forms pati tricycle bawal so how in the hell are you going to expect these three establishments to make money during the lockdown kung walang mass transport you cannot implement those two provisions at the same time Para mo na rin binigyan ng death sentence yung tatlong negosyong yun. Right? This is my opinion. You given those three business, those three businesses the death sentence. Eh, vital pa naman. Pharmaceutical, uh, personal finance, and of course, food. If you implement those two provisions, if they continue to implement those two provisions simultaneously, <laughs> this country might enter right after the lockdown, okay, at the very least, right after this lockdown ends, we'll be entering a recession. The Philippines will be entering a recession. Right? I'm not being negative. Okay, I'm just being realistic right now. If you're someone like me, you would see an opportunity. But to probably 99% of my countrymen don't see it that way. This is my take on the matter. Okay, I'm not being prophetic. This is the way I see it for my fellow countrymen. I'm currently outside. Um, uh, but in the outskirts of Pasita, it, inimo ko muna ang mother and sister ko to sa Pure Gold para makapagsimula na sila mag-grocery while I make a, uh, a little bank run. So, to show you how <coughs> how Pasita is like, eto. Okay. <clears throat> now, public transport, as you know, it's been suspended. Kanina lang dumaan kami sa checkpoint dun. Kasi, technically, this part of Pasita is with another barangay. So, yun ang pinaka border, yung relays. So, as I make this bank run, um, I wanna, I wanna impart to you guys what, um, what would, what negative feelings would this lockdown uh, would produce? Okay. Number one is um, the fear of isolation. Okay. Now. To those of you who um, who don't um, who don't experience the fear of isolation that often, you may experience it now. Because we're this is a medical crisis we're having. Oh, look at that traffic! Let me show you something. <clears throat> Ito yung traffic papuntang Binyang, okay? It's bumper to bumper right now. Kasi, may checkpoint dun. More likely, may checkpoint dun. Sa boundary ng San Pedro Binyang. Now, back to my, um, back to my take on all, on, my psychological take on all of this. You don't need to experience the fear of isolation. Okay? Especially, if you, if you're thinking about doing the things you should have done 
when you were not busy when, and there's no medical crisis okay oh here am I at the bank so let's continue that let's continue that later shall we bummer the bank is closed so change of plans <laughs> we're gonna get our money somewhere now there's no need to to be scared to to be scared of isolation okay because they have this this old this, uh this old age this one well, not old age industrial age thinking that um if you're all alone you can get depressed no that is bullshit okay that is bullshit the fear of isolation it's just it's just that fear there's a saying the only thing to fear is fear itself so why allow yourself to be scared especially when you're when you feel you're alone you're uh, well you don't have to be alone because you're at home and you got other people with you okay and you have other things to do with your life okay there are other aspects of your life that you need to pay attention to so you won't you won't feel that fear of isolation okay you won't you don't need to feel to feel that fear because you need to you need to catch up with the other aspects of your life especially right now in this this medical crisis we're having right now now is the time to catch up on those aspects of your life <clears throat> so that's my thing that's my thing don't fear isolation embrace it especially now <laughs>